All right, what is up, boys and girls? Bringing you some Season 13 Rakan action. We've got a brand new build that could possibly bring Rakan back into the meta because it's going to basically uh, cover up one of his biggest weaknesses, which is he has a really hard time being a primary engage. But with this new item, Radiant Virtue, it's going to give us a ton of really, really yummy um, defensive stats and then also give us a huge amount of health and healing. I'm just going to pop the Ignite. Just run her down. Ignite his poke. Not bad. Uh, but yeah, so when we pop our R, we are going to get a huge chunk of health, which lets us go in, make the plays that we want to play, uh, that, that we want to make, and without fear of dying. And it is also a very nice supporty item because it gives you the, the same buffs, the same CDR, and the same uh, healing to any allies in your, uh, in your vicinity. Oh, she missed XP. I think my Zai is dead. Maybe not. Nope. Sin is dead now. ADCs are just out here, like, outdoing each other. Like, who can throw harder? Nice. Got his flash, too. All right, but anyways, a lot of weird action, but it's going to be recommending Shirelia's or Locket. We're not going to be building either of those. We're going to be building the brand new tank item. It seems really, really busted on the surface, so we'll have to see what it's like in practice. But... In, in my head, I'm thinking that this is, like, a really, really good item for, uh, for Rakan. Yeah, 400 health, 30 armor, 30 magic resist, ability haste, and then that transcended active is just, like, so good. Alright, no flashes on either of these cats. A little bit of poke going. Wait out the bomb. Then obviously we have better, stronger laning and increased uh, W auto attack range. Which wh what is it? It's like I think I think it's Zaya's W that gives me the uh, the extra feathers on my attacks, and then increased E, e range. This guy's dead. Oh, she's still only level two. Oh my god. And this guy needs a little bit of practice on his Zaya. I yeah, stopped his back. I might go for something flashy here. I, I really want to kill that Zillion, but not sure if it's like mathematically possible. But yeah, Rakan is like always, always, always been one of the most fun champions in the game. He's just kind of struggles in a lot of metas because he's not the tankiest. He's not the best hard engage. He's not the best shielder. He's not the best healer. He's kind of just like a jack of all trades, master of none. But then you like look at his kit and it's like all about like making flashy plays. Well, he's not really tanky enough to make those plays until now. Hopefully. All right, she's wanting to stay. I'll break it this wave in and we'll go back. Start my recall counter so or recall timer so she can jump on it with me. Yo, please, please, please. Please, please, please. I need an E. I need an E. Come back for me. Come back for me, my love. All right. Well, that's a little unfortunate. We got the kill on Santa, though. It's not that bad. Welcome back in the lane with an Aegis. Your love appreciates your sacrifice. I didn't want it to be a sacrifice. All right. She's, 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 she's picking up speed, guys. She will learn Zaya by the end of this game. Plus, I'm, I'm used to doing all the work in the bot lane, right? I'm just going to drop a control word, see if they're on dragon. They are... Wait, wait, if Akali comes, you can actually, like... There we go. There we go. I think I'm dead here, because Jin's going to root me. Oh, maybe not. Maybe not. I kind of hate that we gave them such a bad dragon, but our, uh, our jungler's top, so...
Also, one thing I can say about all these new tank items is that they have extremely nice build paths. Like, everything is within 400 gold of each other, which is super, super nice on supports because, like, you're not always going back with, like, a ton of gold. So you can always go back and buy at least, like, one component, which is always nice. I need my Zaya to, like, go forward so I can slingshot off her. I'm, I'm looking to do an EW, but I need her to be brave. Not quite enough feathers to root him. Got another knock up in three. Got my ulti. There you go. Get it with the shield. She's fine. She's fine. Beautiful. And I get the cannon. And I get the cannon. I get the cannon. I don't get the cannon. Oh my god. I'm so sad. <laughs> she left me. Is Rakan hard or just flashy? I wouldn't say this champion is super hard. Uh, the, the hardest part is just like learning your distances, know, like learning your damage outputs, and, like learn how tanky you are. Um, he's one of those champions that's like really flashy because he's got a lot of dashes and stuff. Like you're zipping around in team fights. So the hardest part of him is just like the decision making aspect. Like should you be going deep? Should you be peeling back? Because he's one of those champions that has a lot of options. None of them are necessarily like hard but they feel cool, they look cool, and you know, it's like just deciding like what you should be doing is the difficult part. Oh, this is good. If, if, if we start this fight right here, oh my God, oh my God. And I got a, I got a Zillion's flash. She has no flash. We get a Zillion too? We can get a Zillion too. Nope. Not bad. Tank for my team. Boom. But yeah, like sometimes on this champion, especially like in season 12, you would go in thinking that you were like supposed to be the, the, the primary engage when really this champion does like a lot better at doing like follow up engage. So he's very easy to disrupt or just like CC chain and kill him when he goes in. But I think Radiant Virtue is honestly going to fix that. So we'll see. Ron is so fun. He really is. And he's just like, bro, he's like, his personality is just so great. I don't know. He reminds me of someone. I can't, I can't put my finger on it. All right, I've got ulti again. Neither one of these guys has flash. We insta go in on your six. Just kidding. I got impatient. I didn't want to wait for six. I messed up my knock up. I think we actually died because of it. I'm sorry, Zaya. That was my fault. Oh! Oh, well, now we definitely both die. Unless. 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 I live! Yeah, if I hit this knockup over here, I think Zaya actually gets most, enough DPS. But but she also wasted her ulti. You shouldn't ever use Zaya ult for just like pure DPS. What is this?! Uh Help! Help! Yeah, you should ever use like Zaya all just for DPS. She's used to like dodge a knock up or something like that. Bro, is anybody gonna help us? There's like an actual army in bot lane. Guys? 
Dude, they need to get rid of this Belveth pushing thing. This, this is so, so insane. Where's your team? I actually have no idea. Guys, we can't let them have bot lane and go to dragon. Like, we have to stop one of their objectives, right? I moved my camera. My camera flicked, or else I would have had the EW on the Senna. We're a little rusty on the Recon, guys. We're getting there, though. Jungler? It's a weird game. You didn't know you could hit the blast going from there? Yep. You learn all kinds of stuff watching this stream, don't you? All right, next back, we got our Radiant Virtue. I can't wait to try that out. Uh, we could just come dive bot with Malphite. Oh my. Oh my. Oh my. Guys. Guys. Come on. I mean, dude. The Zaya is just using her ult in like the most illegal fashion possible. Oh, and they got this thing again, man. More of them? It's fine. We got Radiant Virtue now. So if you guys don't know what the item does, let's look through it while we're uh, waiting for our next ulti. Uh, upon casting your ult, you transcend, which just sounds cool. Increasing your max health by 168 for while transcended, you and your allies within 120 range of you gain 20 non-ability haste and heal for 37. So it's this big uh, burst of HP, which makes you tankier. Then you get all kinds of other benefits too. We go on Z Zillion. Got his flash. We have a Kali coming. Just take this guy for free, guys. Guys, Zillion is leaving? <gasps> this is a weird team, guys. This is a weird team. We've got some weird priorities. All right, I got my ulti now, though. You guys ready to see me transcend? Hi, GSA. Yo, what's up, man? Welcome to the stream. Wait, we can just dive. We can just dive. Oh, her ult isn't up for like five more seconds. That's so sad. I probably could have tanked one more turret shot. Okay, so that's what it looks like. Not bad. So it healed me for 258 and it healed my my Zaya for 160. So when we get into team fights, which is where Rakan excels anyways, like I'm going to be healing all four of my teammates at once. It's going to be cracked. Um, we'll go probably probably redemption second item. I think I need dude, what is going on top? My top laner is down four levels. Well, it's three levels now, but Woo! Could be a hard game, lads. Recon's in it to win it though. To bot. Oh, actually, Belveth's on a... We do not want to give her this again. We do not want to give her this. Oh, my God. Please stop it. Please stop it. Please stop it. 
Urgot, please come down. Steal it! Oh my god. Oh my god, she got zillion alt. Bro. Bro. Nice, nice, nice. Alright, we dive with we dive this. I wanna use my ult. I wanna transcend. Okay. Guys! Oh my god, what a shot. What a freaking shot. Wait, look at this. 500 healing to myself? Almost 600 healing to my allies. Bro, I am tilting with some of how some of these plays are going. Oh, I think I just killed her. Nope, she's, she lives. I can hold your hand as you die. Does that Does that make it better? All right, yeah, I think I'm, my, my only issue here is that I'm not getting any mana for my item. So I think I go like Frozen Heart, possibly. Who levels up on Zillion? I have 11 assists to his four. Yeah, Frozen Heart might be a really sick play here. Mm, I'll fight out of mana. Dude, can we like, like, why are we just giving them dragons over and over again? Oh, we stole it. There we go. Hey, I softened him up for you, bro. <laughs> there we go, baby. Dude, I felt really tanky there. No big deal, guys. Just literally 2v1 their bot lane and, and blew their zillion's flash. 800 healing to self. I, I'm thinking this is pretty sick. Right, I really want to start encouraging my team to like start taking team fights though, because that is really where Rakan does super well. I got you, bro. I got you, bro. Ten seconds on my alt. A zillion's alt, beautiful. I'm looking to re-engage. We need our Zaya here. Zaya's on blue. Ooh, baby! I mean, do that. Their marks and like can't do anything to our tanks. Oh! Oh! It's all right. It's all right. My life for the team right there. My life for the team. I'm okay with that. Why don't you have ultimate hunter? Um, I think triumph's been doing really, me really, really good. I've gotten 400 gold and 1300 health restored off it. So ultimate hunter could be nice, but it's not like these are bad runes. Welcome to the tank meta boys. Holy Lord. I mean, listen, I'm not, I'm not trying to flame this Zaya. But I think it's pretty impressive that I've been able to give this Zaya 10 kills. Would you guys agree with that? It just doesn't seem super comfy on the champ. Alright, we got Frozen Heart now. Plus, like, my ulti's been up for, like, every single team fight. Like, I really need, like, Ultimate Hunter. I'm 
I'm coming, I'm coming. I'm coming, I'm coming, I'm coming, I'm coming. Oh my god, it's gonna be glorious. Oh, it's gonna be glorious. It's looking a little less glorious than I, 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 I imagined it. I got knocked out of my E. We're so dead. We're so dead. Why, Jin? Why did Jin have to land that root? It's fine. It's fine. We're limit testing, boys. Not on this, are they? Oh my god, they're on this. Alfai says, yo, why are we throwing? Yeah. That's that's what transpired there. Oh my god, so close to sealing it. So close. They both get out. Oh, we got Jax at least. Alright, dragon in a minute. We got much freaking value I'm getting out of my runes though. Guardian, 2,300 healing, or uh, shielding. Font of life, 600 healing. Bone plating, 600 damage. Revitalize coming in clutch. All right, we should set a, uh, we should set an ambush here. Hold. They're gonna come to the str- Oh, they're not coming to the dragon. Okay, I guess we just get bought, actually. He could, like, actually just turbo push bot. We don't want to dive this, though. He's, he takes too long to kill. By the time that we dive him and kill him, his teammate's gonna be there. I highly doubt they use Zillion Alt. Belveth isn't here, but she's pushing top. Have we not taken that dragon yet? There it is. It's our Malphite. Oh, baby. Keep pumping shields into my girl. Boom. Can't run from Malphite. I think, Bel dude, Belveth kind of griefed her team by not going to that fight. Imagine if Belveth was there just dealing damage that entire time. Not bad. One for one. You could have played it better. It's all good. Oh! Got an inhib. I like that. Yo, what's up, enemy? Welcome to the stream, bro. Dude, the, the like sun is like shining on my legs under the table. It feels so good. Guys, I'm starting to think that like being in the sun is like actually good for your health. Just like occasionally, you know what I mean? I don't know. Scientists should look into that. All right. We're looking for one big 5v5 where I can get Radiant Virtue. Look at the range on Radiant Virtue. It's like twice Caitlyn auto attack range. I want to get like a five man ulti with five man Radiant Virtue going off. So another part where you're getting value out of this item and it doesn't show it is that you are getting low you are lowering the cooldowns of your uh allies non-ultimate abilities. 
So it's like you're also making your team do deal more damage, but it doesn't calculate that and like show it in the item for some reason. I guess it'd be pretty hard to calculate. Okay. Sup, bro? Okay, we just dive in them. Back to the inhib. I don't think we can. We, we can't actually end the game here. Please play for inhib. It's gonna position really far forward, so if she hits anyone, it's me. For Q's. Bye bye. <laughs> Slowly it is burned to death. Oh, I have another ulti. We've been sieging so long I get to ult them twice. <clears throat> Race car mode. This poor zillion is trying so hard to save Senna. There it is, boys. Whip 5, 4, and 27. Had a got a couple rough plays. Had a little bit of a rough early game, but we brought it together. Radiant Virtue Recon. I'm going to say it here. Uh, this is for sure his mythic. Um, sh may maybe once they start nerfing these OP tank items, like we might be shifting back into Sh Shirelia's or something. But as for right now, uh, seems like a pretty freaking cracked support tank item. So let's take a look at the damage charts. I would be very disturbed if we were high on the damage charts. We actually, act, we actually were, bro. What, 17K? Uh, yo, Crimson Guardian with the 10 gifted subs. Thank you so freaking much, man. What in the world? Hey, thank you so, so much, guys. If you watch this on YouTube, let me know what you guys think with the build, strat, the itemization, the new mythic, and Crimson Guardian's extreme generosity down in the comments. Take it easy, boys. Peace. Uh.